What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having another fantastic day today. You can call me Spree and welcome back to another Madden 20 video. Today I want to go ahead and open up our weekend league rewards. From last weekend we ended up getting some great rewards. We were placed in the top 25. We've got a bunch of packs to open up, a bunch of coins, a bunch of trophies and of course that 97 plus. That could be great. That could be our golden ticket waiting in there. Now I've got to say I was definitely hoping for some really really good power up expansion players to finish up the promo. Unfortunately we only had six new players. I like the look of Julius Peppers. I like the look of Steve Young. The plan is to go ahead and do a gameplay with them over the next couple of days as well. So definitely look forward to that. Overall though, I'm just a little disappointed. There are a bunch of cards in the game that I think would be very good candidates for some upgrades getting up to that gold 99. As always, we do have a giveaway going at the moment this week for Golden Ticket Quincy and Nunwa. If you've already entered, don't worry. You don't need to comment down below if you don't want to. But if you do want to enter, let me know in the comment section below what player you are hoping for the most to get that 99 boost that didn't end up getting it. For me, it's definitely got to be George Kittle. I was really, really hoping for that upgrade. He's on my team. He's on the field a lot of the time an upgrade would have been clutch. The current plan is to go ahead and do the giveaway on Friday. If we get some great pulls today, maybe in the monthly rewards video later in the week as well, I might bring that up a little bit. But either way, keep an eye on your notifications. I might be letting you know that you've won yourself a golden ticket. One last thing before we get into it, if you do enjoy the content, if you are having a good time, feel free to pop down, hit that like button down below. If you want to check out what we do in the future as well, there is the subscribe button down in one of these corners down below. Go ahead, hit that so you can come through, check out what we do. All right, that's going to be everything. Let's get into these rewards. Starting off here at the main screen, as you can see, we managed to get top 25 rewards for Weekend League on PlayStation. 650 trophies. That's going to be great. If we want to go ahead and do that 500 trophy pack, we can go ahead and do that. Right here, 140k. Boom. That is going to be a bunch more coins. So go ahead, pick up some more players chuck them into the giveaways. Checking out all the packs we've gotten as well, two Hail Marys, two Midfields, two Redstones, four touchdowns, and this great pack, 97 plus. Hopefully that's gonna be our golden ticket hiding in there. Jumping over to the leaderboard now, we ended up going 22 and three, that put us at 21st in the world on PlayStation. So pretty good result, something I'm really, really happy with. All right, back into the packs. Let's get these Hail Mary packs out of the way, not expecting too much. As always, some high value power-ups would be great. Maybe some clutch elites as well, but definitely not expecting too much. Jonathan Ogden, I don't believe goes for too much. Moving on to the next pack, we get ourselves a gold. And an 80 sick Eric Armstead. Okay, okay, we'll take that. Now with the rest of these packs, there's a couple things we could do. We could go ahead, we could take the packs, we could go through and open them, but I don't know about you guys, they haven't been the most productive for me throughout the entire year. So what I think I'll go ahead and do is I'll take the quick sales for all three of these different types of packs. It's going to get me over 300k and I think we can go ahead and open up a bunch of legend fantasy packs or ultimate legend fantasy packs instead. I think that's going to give us a better chance of pulling some great stuff. Let me go get that sorted. I'll be back with you in a second. A few moments later. Okay, so that's all of the packs sold. We're going to leave this 97 plus overall for last. I think this is going to be our best chance for a great pull. So we'll leave that till the end. Hopefully we can clutch up. All right, well over in the store now and I was thinking about what I was going to do with all of my trophies. Lately I have been doing this 500 trophy 92 plus player. It's a guaranteed good value card but 92s aren't very valuable. What I could go ahead and do with all of these trophies, I could go ahead and turn them all into coins, buy a bunch of these touchdown quick sales. It's going to get me around 200k that way we can go ahead and open up some more packs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I will be back with you shortly once I've gone through and taken all of these coins as well. More moments later. All right, we finally have all of our packs ready to go, ready to open. Accidentally did 11, but that's gonna be okay. Let's jump right in. Let's start with these Legend Fantasy packs. This very first round, again, we don't expect too much. Maybe an Elite here and there, but probably nothing too much of value. Say DJ Moore. Take these three guys. Moving on to the next round. Not what I'm looking for. Big X. We like 92s. 92s are good. An 89. We'll take an 89 as well. This seems like a pretty good pack for us so far. It's a Harvest player. That's going to be a little X. That's going to be a big X. That's a 91 TO. I think we'll go with the TO. Overall, 
pretty good first pack. Jumping into this next one now, I know we do have a bunch of packs. Some of these we're not going to get anything of value. So what I'll do is I'll open up a couple of these and then we'll just start doing some highlights finding some of the higher value cards that we pull throughout the process. Right here, we'll take the Tyreek Hill. We'll take our gold guys right there around him. Moving on to the next round, an elite. Couple elites. Looks like we're doing pretty well for elite so far. All right, we'll take the 84, the 83. Moving on to the final round. That's a little X. That's a little X. That's another one. That's a big X though. 95 Ray Ray. You love to see it. On to the next pack. Pack number three. This very first round, not expecting too much. Can zoom through this pack. We'll take two tall. We'll take the silvers. Moving through, we've got an elite. We've got a couple of elites. An 80 and a 92. Rushed over that relax, but that's some great pulls right there. Big X. 89 Mel Blount. We get an 87. We get ourselves another big X. 96 Ryan Erlacher. That's what we like to see. We have some heat in our packs right now. Jumping into the next pack. We are in a window. We have some heat. Let's see if we can keep it going, team. Moving through this first round. We get a Timmerman. We'll take the 79. We'll take the 78 as well. On to round number two. There's an elite. There's another elite. We've got an 84. Almost a full round of elites. We'll take the 85 and the 84. We get ourselves an Easter promo card, an 89. A big X. A 92 is a great pull. Another big X. A 91. We'll take the 92. Moving round number two. There's an 85. There's an 83. There's another 83. We'll take these two guys here at the start. Final round. That's a big X. That's a full legend. That's a 93, we like that even better. Moving on to the very final pack. That's gonna be a veteran, that's not what we wanna see. We'll take the Vaughn, 93. We're still rolling, we're in that kind of mid zone where we're getting some decent value back, but overall nothing too crazy. We'll take a couple of these gold players right there. Next round, 80, I'm happy with elites. Just keep, keep giving me them elites. All right, who do we wanna roll with here? We'll take Pollard, maybe Evan Ingram, he might have a high value gold card. Big X for the final round, full Ellen Page. Another Big X, full Patrick Sertain. Another Big X, full 89 Mel Blount. We got three full legends, that's a pretty darn good pack. We will take the 93 though. Final legend fantasy pack. Can we be clutch? Can we get some great pulls in each of these rounds? Starting off with the power up, Keem Hicks. We get ourselves a platinum card. That is what we like to see. We'll take the power up. First round, looking pretty darn good for this final pack. An 82, a flashback, an 89 is a great pull. Final pack, final card from this. All right, an 85, we'll take the 85, 89. Final round, can you be clutch? Redux, a 90, Philip Rivers, an 87. We get a little X and another little X. I guess we'll go ahead, we'll take Philip Rivers, and that is going to be it for the Legend Fantasy Packs. Overall, I don't think we quite got our value back, but it's always fun going ahead and opening packs. At the very least, I'd say we got 70 to 80% of our coins back, so not gonna complain with that. But this is the pack we've all been waiting for, 97 plus top 25 rewards for Weekend League. Can we be clutch? Can we be great? 97 plus, what is in here? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes! Sir, Julio freaking Jones, let's freaking go baby, Julio Jones, oh I'm super 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 hyped about that. We're over in the binder now and seeing a card like this, Julio Jones, it makes the grind of Weekend League all worth it. We obviously have all of those other cards that we can sell so we're going to get a bunch of coins there. But Julio Jones, what a great, great pull. Jumping in to check out what he's worth, Julio Jones, golden ticket, going for 1.2 million coins. What a dope pull. Definitely happy with that pack opening. Obviously a very, very clutch pull to end that pack opening. But a lot of high value cards, we're going to get a bunch of coins back. Now, we do have a couple of decisions to make. I have this Julio Jones. I am more than happy to go ahead, hold on to it 
put it towards the next giveaway that we do. So that is option number one. Julio Jones up for grabs coming up in one of the next giveaways. Otherwise, the other option is to go ahead and sell him, go ahead and pick up a bunch of other cards. Selling Julio, I could buy two or three really, really good cards as well that we could do in giveaways. That way we're going to be helping out affecting more people. That is going to be option number two. Let me know in the comment section below what option you think we should go for. Either way, I hope you guys are excited for some of these cards that you could be winning from some giveaways. Now, I am a little bit hyped at the moment, but I think we will finish it up there. Like I said earlier, we will be doing a gameplay for the new Power Up Expansion players, Julius Peppers, Steve Young, so definitely keep an eye out for that. We have monthly weekend league rewards coming out later in the week. Hopefully we can be clutch, pull some great cards there. If you want to enter the giveaway for Quincy and Nunwa, let me know in the comment section below which power up player that you are hoping would get that boost to 99. And finally, let me know in the comment section below what I should be doing with Julio Jones. Is he going to be one of the next cards up for the giveaways? Or am I gonna sell him, take the coins, go ahead, buy a few more players and then put each and every one of those guys up for the giveaways? Let me know down below what you think we should be doing. But yeah, we're gonna finish it up there, folks. Thank you very much for coming through. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Take it easy, everyone. You can call me Spree, and we out.